So I'm going to show you how to check the starter generator without meters, gauges, or anything, not even putting it on the tractor. This is just a quick little test. It could come in pretty useful if you're at a swap meet or at a flea market or wherever you're, you know, if you find one and you go to someone's house, you want to purchase it, you know, and they don't have it on the tractor. Uh, this is a way that you want to check the starter side and also it'll help show you how to check the field side of the coil to make sure that it's actually working. So what you're going to do is you're going to need a 12 volt battery and jumper cables or like I have a jumper pack and you want to hook up your ground to the body of it somewhere is on the body. Um, you can do two things. You can do it with your cable just tapping onto it or if you're like mine you have a switch I would clamp it first then use the switch so you don't arc on your stud right here and burn up your threads um, if you do check it make sure you have the nut screwed down so that way you can back it off and it'll help clean up them threads if they do get a little arc damage there so anyhow the next thing you want to do is we're going to check the starter side of it so we'll hook up 12 volts and we'll hit the armature stud or the armature pole and let it spin up. You'll notice that it takes a little bit before it winds down to a stop. So now I want to check the field. In order to check the field, a lot of guys you got to be spinning this and then you have to, you know, have it basically hooked up to the tractor or whatever, you know, do wires and all that. I'm going to show you how to do it. The first step is get your armature, get your starter up to speed, pull it off, and tap the field stud while it's still spinning, and you'll see what happens. Notice how quickly that it slowed down. That's telling me that the field is working like it should, because if there was any brakes, wires, grounds, anything wrong with it, it wouldn't do that so and mind you that you can still have a, like the field wire broke and it'll still it will still start but it just will not charge so this is just a quick tip for you guys to take with you whenever you go to a flea market or anything like that just like I said it's real quick take 12 volts tap your armature wind it up and then quick and hit your field and you should feel some resistance and you'll feel that starter trying to roll on you that's because the field is energized on the charging side of it and it's working properly and it should be a good starter generator for you so hopefully uh, this will work for you guys and uh, until next video I'll see ya